my work tends to deal with quite serious or often large subject matter, but generally in a fairly light-hearted way. I often use old-fashioned aesthetics to make the pieces more accessible. The show is very much about the idea of the artist as a tourist, as someone who goes out into the world and experiences it. It also examines some of the ways in which that kind of tourism can be problematic. You know, a picturesque experience where you evaluate looking at a place based on how beautiful it is or how much it conforms to your idea of what beauty should look like completely ignores the larger ecological ramifications of what's going on. This show has taken on a slightly different meaning after this last year of the pandemic where we've all been very disappointed tourists in a way, unable to go much of anywhere. This last year has shown us how important and how wonderful it is to be physically present somewhere. And these pieces are very much about this sort of desire to see the world, experience it in all its loveliness, and perhaps hopefully to inspire people to take better care of it. Perhaps the largest piece in this exhibition is titled The Mermaid. It's a painting of a diagonal slice of Florida. And I wanted to make a piece that was using satellite photography to sort of see it from this godlike point of view, but then just make this very, very intricate and labored painting. Florida is a place that's going to be underwater probably first of all, unless we do something to change our ways. And yet the scale of the problem is just so big. And when you try to just even depict it, it's quite exhausting. And I wanted to sort of show that challenge and yet at the same time also show the kind of beauty of both the natural landscape and the man-made landscape. It wasn't until I started to paint the New York Beautification Project where I was painting lots of little landscapes of graffiti sites in New York that I started to realise quite how extraordinary Turner is. He really just punches right out of the frame of the picturesque convention. Of course, he did make lots of paintings of places that he'd visited and places that he hadn't visited, but there's a way in which they're not photorealistic depictions ever of the place. They're always messy and subjective. Turner is sort of the ultimate unreliable narrator. He prioritizes his own physical experience of a place or his imagined experience of a place. And that, I think, in a year where we've all been denied physical access to the world feels particularly important. So The Disappointed Tourist is an ongoing project that consists of my painting places that have been nominated by members of the public in response to the question, is there some place that no longer exists that you would like to visit or revisit? So the paintings all are painted originally in black and white in acrylic and then they have coloured glazes and oils that are painted over them. Um, they're meant to look a bit like those old hand-coloured postcards, the ones where you don't really know what the actual colours ever were. And they all have the name painted on them, just like those old postcards, and also the date of destruction. You know, people miss all different kinds of things, and that's what I was interested in showing, in showing the reality of nostalgia. One of the things I'd encourage anyone visiting the show who feels that there's something that needs to be documented, they should send it in. It can be a natural site, it needn't be a building, it could be a tree, as long as it's gone and you wish it weren't.